Hey guys, this is a um, little video series that I'm going to start. Hopefully the other team guys will pick it up, but um, we're going to call it Compass Team Tips. And on this episode, I'm going to be talking about an issue that some of us have with uh, the set screw on tail hubs. Um, it gets a little loose. The problem is, is that the way the set screw is on the shaft here, um, being a set screw it burrows into whatever it's pressing up against. After some time what can happen is that where it burrows into the softer metal um, it will actually uh, press into that as it's supposed to but um, again being a softer metal on this uh, shaft here can develop a little bit of play over time so it's not actually pressing as hard as it was um, at one point. What you get then is you get a little bit of a wobble on the tail shaft and what you can do is you can wiggle it back and forth just a touch. If you let it go on long enough the wobbling will get more pronounced. In the air sometimes you can feel it, sometimes you can't. Uh, it's one of the things on a pre-flight or at the end of the day you may pick up on. The problem I have at least, um, and I know a couple other people's have been having the same issue, is that when you lock tight this screw and it actually presses into that soft shaft it puts a bit of a preload on that on that screw and even though it's not tight enough to prevent the the hub from wobbling a little bit on the the tail shaft it's still quite a pain in the rear end to get out um, Number one, don't put too much Loctite on this screw. Just a dab will do you. Um, as you see, I've got my thread lock not all the way up. It's covering maybe half the threads. Um, and that was just a touch of Loctite I put on. And then what I do is I take it and rotate in my fingers. I don't know how well this is going to show up on the film, but I have not modified this set screw. What I found out... Uh, through some trial and errors, if I put a flat spot on this set screw, it's less likely to come loose again um, because it's actually going to seat more firmly uh, in the soft metal of the shaft uh, and hopefully not allow it to, to back off in the future. Um, time will tell. Maybe I'll be wrong and I'll have egg on my face, but in the meantime, it's something I've been utilizing to try to uh, get this shaft on snugly and not have to mess with in the future. So I'm just taking a Dremel here and I'm going to put a little flat spot on the end and evidently some metal shavings on my tail hubs. Probably wasn't the best place to do it but um, for sake of the video we'll do that. Anyway the the tip is flat spotted now and I will go ahead and put a little bit of blue Loctite on it and hopefully we won't have another issue. So as you see just a little bit of Loctite and then spread it around. That gets about half the threads wet. and. Seat it down firm. Don't put Gorilla Torque on it. I've ruined several 1.5 drivers messing with these tail hubs, and now the tail hub is no longer loose. So, again, hopefully this will be a fix for some of the loose tail hub issues. Now, sometimes you won't have any problems with it. Sometimes you will. Um, but this should uh, prevent issues in the future. So hopefully this video will help some people out, and um, have a good day. Thanks.